If you're not using the Spectral Suite, you may be missing out one of Bitwig's best features. Seriously, these devices can let you create very complex sounding things and also they can be used for very advanced processing. For real, you can replicate SOOT 2 only with stock devices. So in this video, we'll show you tips, tricks and the best uses for the Spectral devices. These devices are essentially containers. I mean, you can use them to change the sound, but that's not their true power. They use different FFT algorithms to separate the signal in different ways, letting you go deep into sound sculpting. For instance, we got the transient split, which will separate the transient from the release of a sound. Now, I know that this may not be the most unique one, and even Eventide has its own transient splitting mode effect. But as I said, the thing is that these are containers, so we can build very complex and long chains of effects for the transient and or for the release. Now, I like to make pluckier pages, but sometimes if I use effects of the whole sound, I will get too much pluckiness on the wet signal. So, the transient split is very useful for these cases, because you can use effects only on the release. Now the thing is, using effects only on the release or only on the transient will give you a whole different vibe. And of course you can use different effects for each one. I don't know, you can even soften the transient by using some modulation effects like a chorus or a phaser. Now, to be honest, I use the transient split mostly for mixing, like inspired by the split EQ by Eventide, which is one of my favorite EQs. But you can also use it for other type of sounds to tame more clicky or poppy kind of sounds. But as we are talking about the spectrum, of course we are talking about frequencies. And with that in mind, well, you may be familiar with the harmonic series. You know a bunch of frequencies that are multiplications of a main fundamental frequency. The harmonic split will identify these frequencies and by default is going to separate the even from the odd harmonics. So something simple that you can do is to use a soft wave but use the effects only on the odd harmonics. That way, the wet signal is going to sound like a square wave. Now, this also lets you separate the fundamental frequency from the rest of the frequencies. And this is very useful when you want to apply stereo effects to a bass. Now, for this to work better, the sub-frequencies have to be stable to begin with. But then you can apply as many stereo effects as you want, and the sub will be kept in mono. Now what I like about this device is actually playing with the nonce, which are all the frequencies that the device didn't identify. Depending on the sensitivity, it will identify as nonce also harmonic content. The best part is using different effects on each segment, which are going to sound very different, but they are all originally from the same sound. If you're enjoying the ideas that I'm sharing with you today, give a like to the video. That's the best way to show you appreciate my work. Now again, as we are speaking about the frequency spectrum, my favorite device is the frequency split. This one will separate the signal in four frequency groups that come one after the other, as you can see with the visualizer. The best part is that this device is very visual, so you can move this dot around 
and as you can see it will change the shape of each one of the segments so then you can change the game structure and use this dot to move it around and you will get a weird modulation kind of sound <laughs> Speaking of modulation, I made this modulation heaven preset in which I use a different modulation effect for each one of the frequency groups. So when I move around this dot, the results are always crazy. <laughs> Of course it sounds good in a synthesizer, but let's actually test it also on vocals. Now, the fun thing with FFT algorithms is that, as with the transient split, it's not always about the frequencies. It also depends on amplitude and whatever else. So, thanks to that, we also have the loud split, which will separate the signal in three segments. The higher amplitude frequencies, the lower amplitude frequencies, and everything in between. This one can be used for many purposes, especially to play around with dynamics. I don't know, we can make the quieter parts louder to get a smashing drums kind of sound. But one of the best uses is as a spectral gate. If you solo the loader frequencies, you will listen only to those frequencies that have a higher amplitude. But then again, you can go the other way around and actually lower all the way the gain of the loader parts. And that will transform this basically into a resonance suppressor. I did say at the beginning that you can create a Sooth 2 kind of device, but this one right now is a very basic kind of Sooth. So I've been experimenting on how we can add different features, especially being able to select which frequencies we want to cut. And the solution I came up with is pretty simple. You just have to use an EQ before and after the loud split. Let's activate one band for now, and with a macro, we will control the frequency of this band on both EQs. Just make sure that you are modulating the same amount. So now we can choose the frequency of this band. Now, the special thing comes when you use another macro to control the gain of both EQs. But on the first EQ, you go on positive values, and on the second EQ, you go on the same amount, but negative values. What we are doing here is basically using the first EQ to feed more frequencies of a certain band to the loud split, and then we take away the same frequency range so we get the same balance that we started with. The difference is that now the loud split is going to cut more of the frequencies that we selected on both EQs. So with this we can control the amount of the resonance suppressor effect that we want to apply to a specific part of the spectrum. Then we add another macro for the Q and we repeat the same process for a second, a third, a fourth, up to eight different bands. Now it can be a pain to build but that's why I actually built it. You can see that here I have it with all the frequency bands and an amount control. You can get it for free if you are a channel member or a patron and if you are not it's only five dollars. You can join just for a month, download it and then cancel your subscription. Or maybe stay because I always upload different presets for different things. Now, Bitwit has a lot of unique features, so if you want to explore them, go and watch this playlist right here. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time, and bye-bye.